And then you just bite that off with your mouth? Well, I just twisted it. It's, you know, I only have so many hands. All right, we're back. We're gonna artificially inseminate a couple pigs today. Good morning. Oh, she is. Good morning. I'm gonna be her lovely assistant. Spiral shaped. Gotta lube it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's non-spermicidal. It's really, really important. Some some things will kill semen, so you've got to make sure you've got the right stuff. It's counter it's counterproductive. Yeah. And then um. Mm -hmm. And this is a tube of fresh semen that's been extended from a from a pig named Fat Albert. Fat Albert. He's, Fat our, Albert he's our man. Is our, is our baby daddy. Baby this year. baby daddy. You gotta have bananas. Need treats. Well, you don't have to have bananas, but you need treats. Yeah. yeah. You want to make it special their first time. <laughs> They're over there. And then this is where they will be next. There she is. That one isn't hot. I think it is. So standing heat is different from just general heat, meaning that uh, the gilt or the sow will allow a boar to mount her and to breed her. And we test for standing feet by pushing on their back. And if they're standing and ready to be bred, then they will be locking their legs like she is right now. Her ears are actually kind of up and she's really paying attention to what I'm doing. So this is how we want them to be. We're just going to clean back here a little bit. There's only so clean you're going to get all of this. And obviously if this was happening normally with a boar, uh, no cleaning would be going on. So people that are taller will actually sit on their back and do this. I'm not tall enough. So I have found that I just have to kind of lay like this and put as much weight as I can. Um, so we're going right into her vulva, pointing it upward as we go. If you point downward, there's a risk of going into the bladder. And you certainly don't want to do that. So we're just being very gentle. And you'll see as I push this, it's going to start to turn. You see that? So it's actually starting to turn on its own. And then we'll turn it the rest of the way. It takes maybe three or four counterclockwise turns to get it locked into place. That's all right, girl. Here. And then once it stops turning and it feels like it's pretty secure, then we hook up the, the tube of semen. <clears throat> so you want to take three minutes or so to inject this. <clears throat> you don't want to go too fast. It's a fairly large volume. And if you go too quickly, um, it will actually start to reflux back into the tube or all the way out, and we don't want that. There we go. So then we turn it clockwise to start to move it out of the cervix, keeping this end pointed up so that whatever's left in the pipette will continue to drain. <clears throat> See there, girl. This is where she usually wants to take off, so. She'll stand. Good girl, Tilly. You're such a good girl. Good tail. Making this a good experience is super important for for future breedings and to make sure that that they don't associate a stressful event with being bred so another banana everybody likes bananas huh miss gertie miss gertie gertrude breakfast breakfast time like pigs in a blanket 